ever since we discovered that motorists around the world had been cheated by VW. And since then, the question has been, how did they do it without regulators noticing? Not just in Europe, but throughout the world. If a company wants to cheat, no system will be 100% secure. But the key is to make it as hard as possible to cheat. And we need to do that as soon as we can. We now have new RDE testing rules already in place. That's one key part of the answer. And we have new market surveillance proposals from the Commission. The second key part. We need to deal with this as soon as possible, even whilst the EMIS committee examines specific lessons and reports back to us next year. We have a type approval system which is at national level with mutual recognition. It's the right system, but it needs national administrations to enforce it, as the Commissioner herself said last night. So let's be clear. Every administration in the world was fooled by VW, not just those in Europe. We need a proper peer-to-peer -peer review system for member states, and we need proper market surveillance, both at national and EU level. We need a system that works. We can deliver it. We can de deliver it to protect consumers and the environment, but we need to get on with it. There's no time to delay. Honorable.